He is 5-0 and over that time, an incredible 9-6-7 save percentage. Save goal has stopped 208 of the last 215 shots he's faced prior to tonight's game. At the point, Truba holds it down to Hale. Time running out in this power play opportunity. Two seconds left for the Tomahawks. The Knights are back to even strength. William Otwell to center, and it's booted away from a Tomahawk player. Hale gets it at the red line. Now the blue line, he'll give and go to himself. Kriska will be in a race with him, and he's pounded against the wall. Kyle is low with Hale. And four players just jousting for it. Sticks jabbing along the puck on the gray trim of the wall. Officials don't have the whistle up just yet, and the puck stays there. Kriska wants it to be called dead, but Kyle will emerge, and the Tomahawks have possession in the offensive zone. It's swirled on to stage school softly, and the netminder for Wilkes-Barre will hold up. Wilkes-Barre Scarlet Knights are scoring an average 2.36 goals per game. That's not a lot, but when you have good goal setting, it certainly helps. Other side of the ice, it will not be easy to keep the Tomahawks off the board. They are averaging a 3.58. 43 goals across 12 games for Johnstown. Here is Robinson behind the net. Giving to Otwell. Clanell with a nice check along the wall. And William Otwell will cut up the right wing side. Gets it towards the slot. Postula wanted to be there, but it was carved away from him by the gold center, Carter McPhail. Kept in the zone and at the corner. Four or five players around it. Just under seven minutes to play in the opening period. Six, 12, or six to two shots favoring the visiting Tomahawks. Kirky was nearly cut off in center, but he'll roll it around the wall. McPhail tries to spin around and avoid the good forecheck of William Otwell, who had some applied pressure. Tomahawks go through the stick of 26. Joey Baez, 2000 forward. He is one of the youngest players on either side of the ice in tonight's game. Jacob Badal. Lost it, and there is Baez. Flicks one off the glass, and the puck will roll on its edge down the ice. Adrian Pennington is there to touch it up. And Jacob Badal will wrist one on the backhand. Down into the zone. Oh, there could be a penalty. No, there's not. Only three officials for this game. We run one man short. Owen Arfstrom was bulldozed into the wall. And here on the far side, Danchenko will look to make a play. The Knights do keep it in. Jordan Strand, who had a tremendous weekend just a few days ago against the Northeast Generals. He is out there. He bear watches the puck roll away from his stick. Badal for Wilkes-Barre. Backhand steering one over to Blake Kriska. A lot of minutes here for the defenseman. At the blue line, good pass. Tape to tape to Adrian Danchenko. He tries to deke his way around. Nice stick move, Danchenko. Seven points in his last three games. He has been marvelous, too. We mentioned the NAHL East Division star of the week is Danchenko. Badal creates a turnover for the Knights. Over to Bronte, whose shot is punched away by McPhail. Good shot there from Tyrone Bronte, the Bemidji State commitment. And here comes Johnstown the other way. Flipped into the zone by Gorsak. Stage school around the wall for Fuss. Two on one, though, and the Tomahawks will gang up and take advantage, but Beckmore is waiting for the outlet pass. In the zone, he gives a nice dish to Starzy, backhander, knuckleball in front. It stayed loose. Starzy trying to make a play along with his fellow line mates there on that fourth line. Jake Foss back more, but Johnstown, great transition game. Heil will throw in in front of the net. State goal held on before Nedeljkovic could do anything about it. Wilkes-Barre Scranton Knights 5-5-1. Five, five and one. They are five points behind the Tomahawks, who are first in the division. Wilkes-Barre is third out of six. Don't forget the playoffs are determined by the top four teams in the respective divisions. They make it to the playoffs, and from there, the winner of each, the Robertson Cup Finals. Wilkes-Barre is the defending East Division champions. Jeffrey Bertrand throws one around the wall, then slams into Truba. Here's Baez again. I've already mentioned his name several times. Joey Baez, one of the younger players, but given more time than some of the veterans. So far to start the game, Captain Truba, number four, giving it up the wall. Vertical pass to Price. In the zone pass by Ed. Shea Donovan will touch it for Wilkes-Barre. Number 10, by the way, belongs to Colin Price of the Johnstown Tomahawks, who are going to freeze one in their own end. Tomahawks, one of the oldest teams 
in the North American Hockey League. They were around back in the 70s when the Null was a new thing and you had teams like the Philadelphia Firebirds that were a part of this. And there have been plenty of other installments in terms of Philadelphia's junior hockey footprint. Most recently, the Philadelphia Rebels who have now relocated to Jamestown for the new year, a new season that is. Wilkes-Barre will travel to Jamestown after this weekend. This is game four of a one of two season long five game homestands for the Knights. Bronte was trying to dish it away from the stick of a checking player, but on the other side of things, it's Bennett Stockdale cutting in and he'll give it away to Selensky. Leading scorer for the Tomahawks right in front stage goal. Rebound is left out. Where is the puck? The officials will blow it dead. It is not behind Zach stage goal. He has it. When you talk about collegiate commitments and both of these teams do have some, it is more the Knights than the Tomahawks. In fact, this year alone, Wilkes-Barre Scranton with nine commitments. The Johnstown Tomahawks only with two. We mentioned Joey Baez, Cam Hebert. We have a player from each team though that is set to go to the same school. Adrian Danchenko and Joey Baez of the Tomahawks both set to commit to the University of Alabama Huntsville for some D1 hockey. Pass right in front of the mouth of the net. Clannell never got there. And Stockdale going the other way. Inside the right circle for a shot. Stage goal saved. Punched out of the air by Robinson. It stayed down in the slot. Wilkesbury takes it away. Brett Postula through the logo at center. Over to William Otwell on the right wing boards. Postula down in the corner now. Marked up by the Tomahawks. We are 11 minutes through the first period. Still scoreless. 15 shots. 10 belong to, to Johnstown. Wilkesbury makes one defensive change and Stockdale will flag one deep into the Knights end. And here it is, Johnstown, who arranges for a new complement of players on the ice. Donovan behind his net. Pink tape stick to all, gives to blue line companion Pennington. And he sends a pop fly into the goaltender, McPhail, who will hold that one down, one out. 8.35 remaining in the first period again here on Hockey TV, your exclusive Wilkes-Barre Scranton Knights broadcast. And we have more action coming up for you tomorrow afternoon, a more matinee friendly time if that is your prerogative. 3.30 p.m., Jake Fuss takes a really odd tumble in the faceoff dot and they score! Fuss was down but he's okay now. Adrian Pennington from the left point. Buries one through traffic and beyond the goaltender of Carter McPhail. 11 and a half minutes into the game. The Knights score the first goal. It's 1-0 Wilkes-Barre. 